Hello and God bless you boys and girls. Amazing. What do you think of when you hear the word amazing? Maybe you think of this. Or maybe this. Or even this. Mmm, looks good, doesn't it? Or maybe this. As Catholics, we also think of this. The Mass. The sacrifice of the Mass. The Holy Eucharist. Why, why do we think this? Uh, let's review a little bit about the Mass. Why it's so amazing. We can never um, talk about it enough. There's always something new. Um, so, first of all... Mm -hmm. Let's remember what remember means, right? That during the Mass, we are there to proclaim the great works that God has done, especially um, what Jesus has done um, through his passion, death, re and resurrection, how he saved us from sin, how he's given us the Eucharist. Um, we also read stories from the Old Testament during Mass, so we don't only remember what Jesus did, but we remember all the great things God did, um, like with Noah and the flood, with um, with the Egyptian, with the Egyptians, and freeing the Jewish people um, by all the great things He did for King David and giving him victory. We remember all of the great works God has done. Um, him sending the Holy Spirit to be our guide, the apostles going and spreading the good news. All of these things we remember and proclaim and talk about at the Mass. So that's one reason it's amazing. Um, and also another amazing thing is remember that during the Mass, Jesus is there, right? His, It's not just... The Eucharist isn't just a symbol of Jesus. It's not. It doesn't just like represent Jesus. Kind of like this uh, picture here. This represents Jesus, right? It's a picture of him, but it's not really Jesus. But the Eucharist is really Jesus. It Jesus is present, and just like Jesus is present, when we're at the Mass, the Last Supper is present. The cross is present. Jesus rising from the dead is happening right then, and the ascension is happening. So it makes these amazing works that God has done right there, happening right in front of us. Now, it looks different than it did when it first happened, maybe, but it's really there. And we can believe that because Jesus has told us that that's what's happening at the Mass, right? That this is my body. It's going to be given up for you on the cross. Um, so the Mass is amazing. It's an amazing event that we can never learn too much about. Um, the Mass is amazing, and so this is why the Mass is the center of the Church's life. It says that in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which is a... It's a really beautiful book. It's a large book. Um, it's a great book to get maybe once you get to high school. You might start looking at it a little bit in middle school. And especially you're going to want it when you're an adult because it has a lot of answers about what we believe as Catholics. And sometimes even when I'm like, mm, how would I explain that? I can go to the catechism and it, it usually has really good answers in it. So the catechism says that mass is the center of the church's life. Um, since Mass is so amazing, this is also why, um, we remember it, we remember through the Mass every week. We're asked to do it every week because it's so amazing and we don't want to forget the amazing works that God has done for us. We don't want to spend so much time away from Jesus where he's really present at the Mass. The Mass is amazing, and so this is why um, it's on Sunday, because we're remembering the resurrection. Jesus rose from the dead on Sunday, and so that's why we go to Mass on Sundays, is to help us remember that. Wow, when we go to Mass, it's like we're really on that Easter morning every Sunday. Every Sunday is like a little Easter. Um, the Mass is amazing, and so that's why we gather together. We come together as God's family at the Mass on Sunday um, 
to proclaim God's amazing works that he's done, to teach all of the children that are there the amazing things that God has done so that they can tell uh, the next generation, they can tell the, the people that they meet. Um, even now, when we're kind of separated and not able to go to Mass, the Mass is still amazing because the Mass actually never stops being offered. Priests are still offering the Mass, and when we watch on TV or the Internet or when we make a spiritual communion, we are really there at the Mass. And we're really there at the Last Supper. We're there at the crucifixion. We're there at the resurrection. We're there at the ascension. Remember the great works God has done. If he can split the Red Sea in two, if he can raise, excuse me, if he can rise from the dead, he can make us present at the Mass even when we have to be separated physically. He can make our spirits, our souls be right there at the Mass. That's a beautiful thing about the Catholic Mass that we just have a gift of. That when we want to be there, if we, at this time when we can't go, if we ask Jesus to spiritually unite us with the Mass, He's going to do it. If we ask Jesus to come into our hearts spiritually, do you think He's going to say, No, wait till you go to the church? No way. He's going to come and He's going to bless us, He's going to be there. Right At this time when we can't uh, go to the Mass physically. And we'll look so forward and we'll be so grateful when we can go again to the Mass physically. And hopefully, so, so when we can be there in the pews and receive Jesus um, on our tongue. Um, hopefully then, we'll also remember this, this great mystery that we're really there at all of these amazing things that God has done. Okay, the only thing I have for you today is another little quiz like we did Monday. So if you click on the link that comes after this video or use the QR code, it's going to bring up the flashcards again. The flashcards will have a question. Um, try to answer the question and then push the flashcard and it will show you the answer on the back. And then at the bottom are the arrows and you can just scroll to the next one or scroll over to the next flashcard. And I think, again, there's, there's 10 or so flashcards for you to do to help you quiz yourself and see uh, what you remember about this amazing gift of the Mass.